Hi, welcome to my Ontario system. I've been writing an article about it and I've made a couple of mute uh, videos and then I thought, well, let's try to make a spoken one and, and tell you guys what I've, did, I've done. Uh, a lot of has, time has passed already and as you can see, this is not a really regular XFCE4 system. So the menu is already down. It was on the top and now it's on the bottom. I've changed all icons, I've even installed a little icon there. Um, Areola conkeys have been installed and a lot of things has changed so I try to remember all those but you can see them in the the thumb, the, the, uh, non, the mute uh, video, you can see them what I do there. Um, I have spoken in my article about this little button here, PAMAC, and uh, it's really quite easy just gives you a little sign look there are updates these are files that should be installed they are coming either from repository or from let's see from extra community Antergos and core so well just let's just say they come from places places that have a name and that's it basically all you need to know all you do is apply and then you give in your password and you just put it down there voila so that's that it's updating it has been updated already the color is gone it's already gone so I have installed plank plank is one of the nicer tools to have these pin dock kind of things you can press control mouse click uh, control right mouse click to get to the preferences and I tend to switch between all these kinds of layouts and a lot of layouts which are also included in the article so these are about 100 plank themes that you can choose from depending on what kind of wallpaper uh, I am I can change this same goes for Areola Con across here Areola across is this uh, is a program that is normally situated here in the hidden folder there it's going to be installed and across is 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 here and i do think i have changed it already so let's quickly look at the normal look and the normal look is just type install conky and wait and see what it's, it asks you are you sure you want to delete yes i want to delete and there you go and you get uh, pictures and all that from spotify so this is the normal look i've changed a little bit already to be in tune with some wallpaper i received so you can see that I am now running simple screen recorder, 12 percent, nothing, 24 degrees and so on and so on. Some of the elements are not there, that's just a question of scripting, changing the script of the conky. Um, what have I done more? Variety, third biggest, voila, there's variety, thank you. So when I press Alt, um, Alt, 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 Next, Alt, N, I get the next one and the next one, so these are shortcuts i just made inside the system you type shortcuts voila and then you get keyboard and i have application shortcuts and i used all these elements these shortcuts all these things are explained on eric.e on the variety so lots of tips and tricks you can do so it's quite interesting and alt t for instance i don't like it i trash it all trash alt t trash it as well trash it as well trash it as well Oh, a nice picture okay we keep this and maybe we'll make an alt f which is going to be a favorite so it's safe now so elements like that interesting okay so variety is installed it's on in here it's going to provide us with wallpapers from god knows where huh? you can of course put in your preference where it comes from but mainly a, let's have a guess desktopper no wallhaven one of the two is always a bit a very good uh, source all right now the system so these will be the extras i have installed later on so the system can be changed as you can see i have not a normal uh, sign here but a, a different icon so you can change the properties of the whisker menu whoa we've installed another panel yes <laughs> Uh, you can install stuff, you can um, it's change, change and move and remove, right mouse click was this. So panel preferences, you can say panel 1, this is panel 1. You can lock the panel, of 
unlock the panel that way in this case and move it back up and move it back down so when you lock it or unlock it you can do stuff with it you can change the row size I hope I'll get something yeah, like that something I think one row two rows okay length 100% mode vertical if you like so you can do so voila and then appearance I've made it a little bit alpha meaning this is now fully black and alpha is going to be really transparent here and here but not everywhere okay so that's transparency I like a bit of transparency not too much and if you enter or leave you can make it opaque as well that's some things you decide to have or not okay anything else so the whisker menu yeah we added a whisker menu we have to talk about that we'll come to that later i guess so this is the special menu and another look of a menu and uh, these are all icons and icons can be changed let's look at the icons uh, icons first like for instance why not take one of the ones i like i'm looking for this one so it's still a uh, mono look oh yeah why not change that i don't like it like this i really do like it like that what happens yeah that's what i want so what did i change in the icons the icons are not the same color anymore the icons have now this bluish by the way if i move around i have a transparent window which is also a setting somewhere in xfc4 so lots of things have happened and too little time too much to tell so well let's have a look around so i went to the settings appearance is one good thing i also made a new arc red theme with the project uh, of arc colora you can change the colors as you can see arc is normally blue i can show you that arc is normally blue but now i can make it any color of the 16 million colors there are just a little script that runs you only have time you have to well, yeah, thing you have to do is copy paste and hexadecimal code like ff 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 is all white and all zeros is black and all in, anything in between is a color so um so we have the style the icons you can choose the sardi the surfing let's take the surfing for a while and you can the fonts i do think i've made it a little bit bigger so 13 why not and up everything is a little bit larger and settings still bar stars and haven't changed anything there i think all settings and you can change stuff around wallpapers that you can use menus icons that were on the desktop i remember that so i've got rid of that um okay all settings notifications here's the panel we were in the panel already notification file manager did i change something there no referred to applications is a place to go i think uh, choosing which uh, browser do you want etc etc screen save window manager yep yep very important i was kind of looking for the element to change this part here on top and it was i don't know default probably it looked like this yeah it looked like this and i thought why is it this bar not arc theme so you have to remember to come to the window manager and then select the arc dark and it doesn't matter i think arc dark red is the same as arc dark yeah so that doesn't matter but as you can see you can choose and choose and choose and choose and choose and choose until you are satisfied with your look so back to arc dark red keyboard no focus no i don't think so this one is a very important one why is that so important because of let's have a look i do think it was the only one the last one shadow windows under dock windows this is normally on and this is what you get if you have blank on so it's frustrating to see this little shadow under your nice beautiful plank 
and then it's saying new I don't want shadows under the top windows that's definitely a good one opacity of window decorations I've just done these two opacity of windows during move during move is during move resizing as well if I can voila resizing and all the rest is possible too if you like it just use the sliders so that was a very neat one workspaces I've got rid of the workspaces just one two screens I'm just recording one screen there's another screen on the side so enough place um, display keyboard mouse power I do think I want it to shut down immediately when I press the button I've changed that and lock I've changed it to never lock those elements removable drive I do think I've changed some stuff around here let's have a look the what do I start what I do I want to start variety I wanted to start um, the blue man applets I've written on the article about my my boost uh, headsets that I bought the Bluetooth so one um, suddenly Bluetooth becomes important for me so I figured it out how it worked and uh, well as a matter of fact it was quite easy just follow the tutorial and you'll be just fine nothing changes here no 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 I haven't been here so that's um, that's those settings don't think I have changed anything else so this is also a possibility to go to the menu um, okay let me think okay one thing I haven't explained yet is this whisker menu it's coming from somewhere else and you can always add elements so add new item to the menu to the panel and this is the normal one the applications menu so I will add it for you so this is how it normally looks and it's well hidden there but so we can move it and move it around put it here in front so this is the normal look and then you have to put it on the top and then it will be on its place so that's where everything is norm normally is so this is our look when we have um, it normally let's say applications so let's remove it again yes I want to remove it and this element is the whisker menu which I like more with here as well I there was an option oh, properties I suppose um, well let's change the icon an ugly icon so whatever you click on it it's going to get in that place um, I was thinking about well something cool it will well, whatever so I was thinking about 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 here position commands next to search entry uh, so down, now they're up here and I would rather have something that important a little bit near to me uh, that's easier to go to the same goes for the position categories next to the panel button so just see just click and see what you get and change around so that's interesting as well I thought I was happy to to find that out discover that all right so anything else uh, just look around what you can add to the panel screenshot maybe it's interesting um, workspace switchers and well well that's it for this uh, part well I hope I've been thorough there are things um, for the thing you can check here in the article so what to do after installing Arch uh, pardon, Antergos XFCR4 based on Arch Linux what how will it look and what to do what do I do what can you do um, information about uh, how to install information about sharing computes the Bluetooth Aureola the Sari icons 
All of that is in this article and on the many articles here as well on the website. So um, I, I would say enjoy Antergos. It's, uh, it merits to be more known as it is so great an installer. You can choose whatever you want, Cinnamon, Gnome, KDA, Mate, Openbox. But of course you have to figure out then which programs, which applications are suitable for your desktop. But that's just the fun and all that. Enjoy Linux!